Hood Outlaws and Legends is a new PvPvE game from Sumo Digital. It's a game that flew relatively under my radar until a few weeks ago when I saw a gameplay trailer that instantly piqued my interest. At first glance, Hood seemed like a refreshing fusion of genres, combining cooperative PvE gameplay with a competitive 4v4 experience. And it becomes somewhat more interesting once you actually realize that the game is based on Robin Hood. Robin, that his name's like literally favorite. Robin. Yeah, and it's like Friar Tuck, uh, Little John, and May Marion. But it's, they're called Tuck, John, and Marianne instead. I'm an idiot. And while the game is certainly unique and delivers on many of the promises it makes, Hood, Outlaws, and Legends isn't perfect. And there are some glaring design decisions which may be an issue for some players. The game just officially released as of recording this, but I've been playing for about three days in the pre-release window for people who pre-ordered the game. So with that being said, let's answer the question. Should you buy Hood, Outlaws and Legends? First, let's talk about the gameplay loop. Each game of Hood follows the same general flow. Your team spawns in on the outskirts of your respective map. Your goal is then to find your way to the sheriff who is patrolling a random location. Once you find the sheriff, you pickpocket a key from him. The key gives you the location of a vault, which you then have to find, take to an extraction point, and successfully extract. The catch is, the other team is trying to do the exact same thing, and will do whatever they can to stop you. There are some other obstacles in the form of NPCs, which is where the game's PvE aspect comes into play. There are patrolling guards everywhere in and around the castle grounds, and alerting them can make life much more difficult for your team. If an AI becomes aware of you, the whole area will go into lockdown, the guards become more aggressive and the portcullises will close, locking off direct access to other areas of the map for you and your team. But perhaps more significantly, if you are detected, the enemy team will be alerted to your position until you're in stealth again. There are also spawn points you can capture to get back into the game quickly. Seems kind of complicated, but it plays out in a relatively simple but satisfying gameplay loop. And I think the core idea here is so strong that it has a lot of potential. We'll get into where it may fall short in a bit, but for now, let's talk about characters and progression. As of release, there are four playable characters in Hood, all with different specialties and abilities. Robin is the sniper, armed with a longbow and flash grenades, he's capable of killing enemies from long distances with a precise shot, and his ultimate ability allows him to shoot an explosive arrow which will lodge itself into wherever or whomever it lands on. Marianne is the stealth-focused character. She has a wrist crossbow and smoke grenades, her ultimate allows her to become invisible to AI and almost invisible to enemy players. Marianne also performs assassinations quicker than the rest of the group. John is the brawler. He has the strongest melee attack by far out of all of the characters and carries an actual frag grenade. His ultimate gives him unlimited stamina and increased damage reduction. He can also open closed portcullises for his team, though make sure you communicate with each other first. Oh, bruh. Last but not least is Took, who is the support slash crowd control character who's pretty nasty in a fight too. He carries a flail and stamina seeping gas grenades and his ultimate allows him to heal allies and detect enemies within a certain range. After each game of Hood, you're presented with scales where you can divide the coins you earn during that match, deciding how much of it will go to your purse, allowing you to purchase cosmetic and perk upgrades, and how much will go to the people, which is essentially upgrading your hideout and unlocking new perks, etc. Speaking of perks, each character has three different perk slots with three to six different perks that can go in each slot. These perks can be unlocked by leveling up the character. Some of the later perks can certainly provide an advantage in-game and even allow for some different play styles with each character. So that's basically the game as it exists right now. You do a heist to earn coins, which you allocate to your purse or your hideout, which you then use to upgrade your characters by buying perks and cosmetics. The different characters do lend themselves to fairly different playstyles, and changing up your character can refresh your experience a little bit. Now, let's talk about what maybe doesn't work as well in Hood, Outlaws and Legends. As I've said, I believe this game has a lot of potential, and I've had a lot of fun in the roughly 20 hours I've put in so far. But there are a few issues with the design of the game that sometimes make me feel... a little frustrated. First of all, let me say, when you have a full team of different characters, this game feels pretty well balanced. The problem is, you're allowed to choose multiple of the same character. 
two Marianne's or two Robins isn't usually too hard to deal with, but multiple Johns might be the most frustrating thing to play against in this game. As it stands right now, John is the only purely melee focused character, so even facing off against two of them can spell death for your entire team. I even had one game against a group of four who all ran as Johns, and that game just left me feeling like this. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Another issue that I'm sure could lead to a lot of broken controllers is mid-combat assassinations. Hood has an assassination mechanic where if you're crouched behind someone, AI or player, you can trigger an assassination. This is all well and good, except you can also do it during combat, which means a 2v1 fight is often either a free assassination for the team with more numbers, or one player ends up crawling around your ankles mid-fight, which aside being insanely annoying to deal with, also just looks stupid. I think an easy way to fix this problem would be making one hit from a teammate kick you out of an assassination, as right now the only way to save someone is to fully deplete the attacking player's health pool before the assassination animation finishes, which is nearly impossible with Marianne's increased assassination speed. The last issue I wanted to address is one that's more fundamental to the game's design, and that's the fact that the winning team is not necessarily the one that does most or any of the work. Finding the key first can lead to a small head start on finding the vault, but the enemy team knows you're headed there too, and it's possible you could do all the work only to have the win yoinked away from you right at the extraction. I understand that this is part of the game, but I think more bonuses for the team actually pickpocketing the sheriff and finding the vault could make the game feel fairer. Oh, also just another note, this game is chaotic. I went into this expecting it to be fairly slow paced and methodical, but boy, especially when you get to the extraction phase, it turns into a crazy free for all of players sprinting around, kiting guards and fighting each other, respawning and running straight back into it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just very different from what I expected. So that's Hood Outlaws and Legends, the game, how it works, and what I think are some of its shortcomings. I should say the developers do have a roadmap for multiple seasons of content starting now with Season 0, which promises to introduce new maps, characters, modes, and gameplay mechanics down the line. But this is the game as it exists on release at May 10th. But what's my overall verdict? Should you buy Hood Outlaws and Legends? I don't think there's a hard and fast answer to that. This isn't necessarily the amazing new fresh genre bending game I was hoping for, but perhaps I set my expectations a little too high. It is a $30 game after all. Playing with randoms online can be frustrating at times, but if you have a couple of friends who are willing to give it a go, it can lead to some funny and memorable moments. This probably won't be your new main game. I don't think it has the depth for that right now, but the roadmap looks promising and it's certainly a good time with friends. If you can overlook its shortcomings, I think it is worth the $30 price tag. And that's my review of Hood, Outlaws and Legends. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Until next time, I'm Demon Mungo.